So I grew up in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and I was very fortunate to meet my future wife, now my wife, uh, while we were both attending graduate school at MIT, studying urban planning. And so this is her hometown. So we fell in love and moved to her city. I was introduced to this part of town while working on a campaign uh, for Gavin Newsom, who was running for mayor. And I was one of the organizers out here. And I met the people, and I fell in love with them in the neighborhood. And so it also was the place in the city that at the time uh, that I could afford to buy a home. And I wanted to own my own home. So this is where we laid down our roots, like many people in this neighborhood. And we started our family. And this is where we are going to be. I mean, we are the part of San Francisco. Ours and Baby Hunters Point in District 10 are the two neighborhoods that have the most children under the age of 18. Everyone always likes to talk about how San Francisco is not family friendly, there's not a lot of children in families. We have predominantly single family homes. So as I said, people move here to buy their first home, maybe with multiple family members or multiple families in the same home, and they lay down their roots. It's different because, again, we have little, small storefronts. We don't have uh, light industrial space. We don't have space where you can build high-rises and large office buildings. So the, the tech boom is never going to hit our neighborhood in that way when it comes to jobs. Turkey, cheddar, avocado, avocado lettuce, uh, tomato and a little bit of mustard. mustard. Yeah, so that's my usual. Mike, the owner, uh, born and raised in the neighborhood, worked at uh, the, the drugstore, Daniel's Pharmacy, forever. Saved his money and opened up his own spot. So we're always gonna support, you know, homegrown businesses, and uh, he's, feed, he's fed generations of Excel folks that live in this part of town, Excelsior folks and families, and. The food is great, the vibe is great, and people feel at home. It's like a little community gathering spot. This is a part of the city that has a small town feel. A lot of mom and pop businesses, a lot of family run businesses. There was a conversation about whether Starbucks would come in. I think there are some people that would embrace that. There was, there's others that would prefer that not to be. Um, but I think we've moved beyond that conversation. I think what, where we are now is I think we really want to enhance and embrace and encourage uh, the businesses and small businesses that we have here and attract more mom and pop style businesses. And so I think at the end of the day, um, what we're really trying to do is encourage and embrace the diversity and enhance that diversity of businesses that we already have. We're the only supervisor in the city that has a permanent district office. A lot of folks use cafes or they'll use offices or different places, but uh, I went out and was able to raise money and, and open up a spot that we could pay for. So very fortunate to have that. Hi, good, good to see you. Just wanted to say hi, just say hi to the owner, see how he's doing. Yeah, Everything fine. okay? Yeah, anything is okay. All right, good. I'm out in the district more than just Fridays, but we spend the entire day to come in, and say hi in the district so that we can check hey, in with doing? constituents to and talk to small businesses. I'm the supervisor for the neighborhood, right and we put money in the budget to make sure you guys would be out here. The 9916 is like a commercial corridor ambassador. So they come out here and focus on cleaning the streets, and it's made a significant uh, impact, as you can see. What an improvement it's made to have you guys out here. Sure. We have a significantly diverse uh, neighborhood and population. And so I think that's the richness of the Excelsior Outer Mission, Lakeview OMI, and it always has been. And it's what made me fall in love with this neighborhood and why I love it so much.